Hello, and back in the shed. A few days ago, I was asked by a neighbour if I could make a golfing trophy. So, using this nice piece of wood and a golf ball, let's get started. All squared up, planed, now to put a figure one on here. I've drawn a number one on this piece of paper over the top of the piece of wood that I'm going to use. I've swept it using a French curve and to get reference points I used a marker pen on the curve and using lines, reference lines and using the marks on the curve that's how I swept it across piercing through the paper I made a decent sized little hole to cut the hole I'm going to use a 50mm Forstner bit which is a bit oversized to what the golf ball is. Having drilled my hole, I'm going to uh, draw the number one around it.
the number one has been drawn on shaded in the areas that need to be cut out so over to the bandsaw Just to uh, sand it up a little bit, take the rough edges off. Rubbing in some Yorkshire grit. And I made a homemade buffing wheel out of a couple of um, mini rollers. <laughs> we'll see how these work. Okay. give it a coat of polish and uh, use the other half of the wheel. Just rubbing in some wax. I'm going to burn a hole in and I've made a little little tiny um, whatever you call them pegs tees that's right tees and I shall drop that in the hole there and uh, glue that in first I'll need to find the uh, the center in in that hole so I'll need a nice uh, pencil mark and a sharp pencil. This is how I'll sharpen pencils up. Job done. Anybody got arthritis in their hands like I have and uh, find it's a job to hold these fiddly little old uh, pencil sharpeners, that's an easy way of doing it. Right, so we'll find, get the centre of this hole. That'll be about there somewhere. To burn the hole, I'm going to use the end of a Allen key.
don't have to burn too deep in there. So we'll just see how this goes for size. I'll get my fingers on it. My hands are so cold. What I'll do is before I fix it permanent I'll uh, this will be glued in. And I shall put some epoxy resin just in that little peg. Well that seems to seems to look alright. I'm going to put a drop of CA glue in there. Fix that peg in. Try it for size. That looks good. Now I'm going to mix up some epoxy resin. Well, I hope uh, epoxy sticks to a golf ball. We'll give it a few minutes and see, see how it gets on. The epoxy I used didn't really want to work on this, so I used this Gorilla Glue, um, and it seemed to do the job just nice. <clears throat> In the meantime, while the glue was um, curing, because I left it for a day, I made a little plaque to fit on here, like so. Um, I didn't film it because it <laughs> just took quite a while to get right. Um, so what I'm going to do now is turn a base to put this number one on. In the chuck here I have a piece of cypress of some variety or, or another. I'm going to true this up and take about a half inch slice off. So if I get this done first. Got it round. I'm going to put a tenon on it here now. Some sanding sealer just along the edge. And some Yorkshire grit. Base all finished. Bottom sanded up. I'm going to drill two holes in here so I can attach the number one to it.
I added some green felt for a golfing green effect. The little plaque there, the ball suspended in the number one. I've enjoyed doing this little project and uh, I hope Dave likes it. My next video will be a turning one and it won't be too long. If you like, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll catch you later.